Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm doing something totally different and something I've never really done before on camera. I'm going to let you see what I'm looking for as I'm riding through an area and scouting it. And I'm showing you what I'm looking for on my sonar. Uh, kind of go through some of the uh, images that I'm looking for as far as the sonar signature, that kind of stuff. It's a long video. Uh, it kind of goes over a lot of stuff. Uh, I kind of ramble and talk about a bunch of different stuff. So uh, it's long. Be prepared. But uh, it goes over in some pretty good detail. Some of the different things I look for. Uh, you kind of get to see what it looks like when nothing's there. And you get to see what it looks like when some fish actually show up. So uh, take a look at it. And I hope you like it. Uh, came up here to try a different area. And uh, it's... Uh, not looking real good. There's not a lot showing up. I've got a little bit of stuff like this on the bottom that is not a very good catfish signature. Could be one down in the mud. Definitely not seeing it on the down scan up there. Uh, but I'm on the flat. You can see her on the map. I'm on the flat area next to the channel. There's the ledge where those lines get real tight. That's where the bank's kind of steep. Drops into the river channel. It's deeper parts over here. We're up here on this flat about ah, 16 feet deep. And uh, there's some stuff right there. Probably some smaller catfish if I had to guess. You see those larges. But it looks like they're almost laid up in the mud. Uh, there's one that appears to be clear off the bottom up there. You can see it. That good solid white signature uh, is kind of what you're looking for in here. Now if we get into any big, big, big fish, it will be even more pronounced. Uh, when you get into some big fish, they will look as big as this bait ball. You can see that bait ball up there. The difference on that is, is that uh, if you look very close at that, it's kind of broken up. Little pieces, little fragments, and uh, that's probably the corresponding seminar signature of it there. Remember that stuff on this, it's going to look different than this, and it has to do with the uh, way the data is processed. Uh, and it's, this here is going to be pretty much a dot, boom, it's gone, and down here, uh, it's going to have more of an arch. It has to do with the cone and the way the cone works on a traditional sonar that you're used to dealing with. And I say traditional, uh, the real traditional is probably more of the sounder. Uh, any of you guys that have used those back in the day, I mean, this is all the way back right after the paper graph uh, was the, uh, the sounders where you would have the round dial and figure out how to read it. But I'm not seeing, here's the thing, the takeaway on all this is there's nothing up on this flat. I uh, had planned to drift through here, decided to make a stop just to see if I was seeing fish. For whatever reason, I'm not really marking anything fishable. Um, I have not been up here since the flood. I uh, came up here, fishing was, eh, it was, you know, what you'd expect during a flood. It was hit or miss, a lot of current. But uh, normally, this time of year, there's some fish in here. Now, we've got 82 degree water, it's very clear, there's been current. Uh, and we got bluebird skies. I don't know. The fish deeper. We're getting ready to find out because what's going to happen is we're going to make a turn back over here to the right. Now, if you're wondering, these are not fish. These are actually, there's a bait ball. Hopefully, you can see it. a little small pot of bait right there. That's what that looks like. And uh, same thing there. That's a little pot of bait. And uh, it's just a little bitty group of it. Uh, this thing stemming up off the bottom is probably a... My guess is it's a water release, cold water release or air release or something there stemming up. There's no real trees or timber in here. Uh, sometimes you'll get some places where you got decomposing biomass down there on the bottom and uh, or leaves and that kind of thing and it'll give off some different gases. We're going to make a turn. We're right up near the bank. You can see here. And we're going to make a hard turn out and we're going to go across what's left of this flat and right off that ledge where those lines are real close together for you guys that don't know uh, don't know exactly how to read a topographic map that's where uh, things are steep it's either going up or it's going down and the way you know that is by the numbers up here are low 18 19 down here they're high 28 29 so it's going downhill right there uh, and you'll see in a second it'll start to drop off as we get close to it now one thing to keep in mind on these maps, sometimes there's little anomalies here that may or may not be there. And that has to do with the way the lake was mapped and uh, the actual boats that were doing the mapping and what they saw and didn't see. 
whenever they don't go over something, uh, the computer kind of interpolates it and fills it in. And there's some places on some of these maps where there looks like there's a dam, there's not one. Uh, those kind of things. So this here, that's a fish. That's definitely a fish that's suspended. That right there, you can see it right there in that solid dot. There's one right there. This is right on that ledge. Boom. And we're rolling down into the channel right here. I'm going to back the throttle down just a little bit. Boom. There's a fish. You can see it real clear. It's right there. Suspended fish. There's another one right up there above it. Uh, a little pot of bait with a fish next to it. That's kind of what you're looking at there. These here, most likely catfish, kind of their kind of signature. You can see those two right there. A lot of that stuff was hanging out along the channel. And uh, you notice we're into just coming down into the channel now. Boom, there's some there. A little pot of bait up here. You can see that there responded on that screen. And uh, that's kind of what you're looking at now. Some of you don't have down skin. Um, you don't have to have it. You can still tell all this stuff fairly very clearly on a uh, regular traditional sonar screen these are fish uh, that's most likely a good fishable fish something you'd be happy with not gonna call it huge but you know probably something 8 10 12 15 pounds uh, just depending on where they're at how far they're off the bottom what they're doing you know your signal is gonna look different maybe we'll see one that's really 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 big uh, we'll see what's happening here but you notice we're getting into the middle of the river channel here. This is kind of a steep slope on this side. Over here it kind of gradually slopes up. And uh, it's, it won't come up as steep. And fish, if they're drawn to structure, may not be drawn to this bank as much. Uh, just because it's not as steep. Uh, a lot of times when they're hanging on structure, they like something really, really steep. Here's some more stuff that I'm betting is fish. Uh, I kind of came back over to this screen just to let you look at it. That definitely is. That could be fish stacked on top of each other. Uh, one of the cool things about the um, structure scan is it kind of gives you a much clearer picture. And yeah, it looks like there's several fish there kind of stacked on top of each other. Could be perch. Uh, that would be my guess. Now this here, that's most likely a catfish or a carp. Larger signature. You can see it up there. Pretty good dot. Uh, my money's on a catfish right there. Now you notice we're in the dead center of this river channel now. Not as much stuff. Not as much as we saw on the edge. And we're going to make a turn with the boat. We're going to run back over this edge. I'm going to stay away from this sloping edge right here. Uh, I'm going to stay away from that. I'm going to run over here to this steep stuff. And just see if there's fish on it. Um, there right there is a pot of bait. There's also some bait off to this side of the boat over here that you can see out through there. Look like that may be some perch. That there is a large fish. Uh, you can see it there. That's a good signature on a fish. Uh, if I had to bet money, I'd say a flathead only because of the where the arch, shape of the arch, and where it's set at. But that's a, that's a true guesstimation call on that one. That's a fishable fish though. Any of y'all would be happy catching that fish, as would I. Uh, yeah, we're gonna roll up onto this edge here and kind of get parallel to it. You'll see the boat kind of turn. I'm gonna try to make a turn where I can kind of make a glancing blow. You notice there's not as much out here in the deep, deep part of this. And uh, sometimes that happens. This is something, guys, that changes. And uh, it changes with varying conditions. There's some bait on the bottom. You can see the fish right there all broken up. Small fish. Maybe even not nah, too small for this year's hatch, but bait fish nonetheless. There's some more there. Uh, but yeah, these fish will hang in these different areas for different reasons. Uh, and it changes. Uh, it can have to do with water temperature, water flow. There's a bigger fish there. And uh, it's, you know, not always the deepest hole in the lake. It's not always where the fish are that you're going to catch and the fish that are biting. So kind of keep that in mind. I got a little bit too much parallel. I'm going to make a little bit more of a turn here. So as you can see, the deeper part of this part of the lake, uh, there's some fish in it. Uh, there's more than we're on the flat for sure, uh, but it looks like most of them are on this ledge. We're gonna pull back up it. I'm gonna see the boat here. I'm kind of turned toward it a little bit. We're just gonna see if there's anything on this. You notice this is a lot steeper here than it is up here. So there may be more fish that like that. I know from experience there's kind of a little ditch that runs in there. That's where some of that deeper water is. Probably we should have run over there. But right here, again, no fish. It's empty. There's uh, 
there's just nothing in here. Um, let's see what happens as it gets up shallower. I might make a sharper turn here. Let's see what we got. It's not a lot of fish in this deeper water here. Uh, this is one of the things, uh, just this time of the year with this spawn, you add in the spawning, then you add in the flood, and then you add in the fresh water. Uh, it's just, things ain't the way they are normally, and that's where you have to kind of, you have to do some fishing. I um, mean, you have to go look for them. You have to go fishing around to find these things. And, um, you see we're starting to come up right here on this. Not seeing a whole lot. Not seeing a whole lot on there. I'm gonna try to, what'll happen is, if I run parallel to this ledge, or this drop, you'll notice it starts to drop off, or it starts to level off. It looks like we're level. The reason it's doing that is because I'm on that same, that same line. Now, if I pull real hard this way, it'll go up a little bit shallower. I go real hard that way, it'll go back down. And I'm basically running a contour line right now, and I'm not seeing anything in here. I am not seeing a thing. This is not, not something to me that looks fishable. Uh, there's fish scattered. Obviously, there were some back there. But right in through here, I'm not seeing a lot of life. I'm going to come back down it one more time. There is one fish there. You can see it there. Some bait stuff. The uh, down scan really shows up the bait better than my uh, regular sonar does because of the way I've got it tuned. But, yeah. There's some stuff there stacked on top of each other. My money says crappy. Just based on the small dot that I'm seeing there. But a lot of this is uh, interpretation, folks. It's uh, There are some things that show up with a really good signature on here that you know just from experience of catching them. Stripers being one of them. Big catfish. Big active catfish. Uh, sadly, we're not seeing any of that today. So I'm going to ride back over this again. Give it a little more gas. I'm going to get back over to this side. See what's over here. We're gonna drop right into the channel. Go running right up through here, picking up the boat speed just a little bit. I try to go a little bit slower than this normally, but a little bit faster here. That's a good fish. That right there is a good, good fish. That there's what you wanna see. Big, big dark spot right there. That's a good fish. You're gonna wanna fish for that one. You're gonna wanna fish. There's something around some fish right there. Some small suspended stuff in there. That's a good fish, that's a good signature. Now, with that said, it's suspended. Uh, you're either gonna have to put lines down under a barber down line, there's another one there within four or five feet of the bottom. Or it could be an, act, an inactive fish. Uh, a lot of times when fish suspend, they're not feeding actively. And uh, uh, we've, trust me, we've tried it now. The other thing is, those are good signatures, good fish. It could also be that those are carp. Uh, I don't think these are. There's a little different, fatter look to a carp. Uh, at least what we believe to be carp because we've never been able to catch them. Um, and usually you don't see them this time of the year. There's another one right there on the bottom. We're gonna run right over here. Some of these marks are. And see if there's anything on there. There's another one see it right there not a monster another one there those are some you know 8 10 12 pound fish fun fishing good fish but uh, nothing to go crazy about um, what I like to see personally is a lot of this and a few big ones around uh, a lot of this then no fish and then boom boom some big ones that's usually a good sign I like seeing them up a little bit another good fish there you can see it there on the down scan up off the bottom so one of the good things about the Dan's down scan, it does a great job of clearing stuff off the bottom so you can tell where it is. Like this here is attached to the bottom. You can see that, probably a piece of debris or something there. I'm not seeing anything over here. Sometimes some of this stuff mushed onto the bottom doesn't show up real well, you can see it there. That bang sound is my key, by the way, or my uh, ring on the uh, steering wheel. And there we go, up onto a little ledge here. Boom, stuff there. Most likely crappie right there, stacked up on top of each other. You can see them there. A little smaller signature. But yeah, you can see this stuff is kind of scattered. There's no good concentration of stuff. Uh, you know, you could probably go back to some of these places that had uh, a bunch of fish. 
and maybe anchor on it but this is one of the reasons I like dragging trolling drifting for baits now the way it would work here is I've got a northwest wind which you can see the uh, indicator here so my wind's gonna carry me this way so I'm kind of be going across a flat a ledge into the river channel back up and over so what I would do in this situation is probably just make multiple passes if I wanted to fish this uh, sadly I wish there was more up here on this flat we're up onto the flat already here and uh, there's just not a lot hanging on the top I'm gonna turn back into it get back down to see what it looks like in here hopefully you guys can hear me okay with the wind I've got a wind sock on this thing we still got a pretty good wind coming out here today I want to take a few minutes to roll some video on this I've been wanting to do this for a while and I'll probably do more of these just on some different days, some different occasions to show you some different stuff. Just to give you a little bit of idea input. None of this is fish. Uh, that looks like some type of debris, maybe some rock there on that edge. Uh, something sticking up. Man, yeah, there's a little steeper ledge over here. We'll ride over to it. You can see a rock right there sticking up at the bottom. Again, that river channel, middle of the channel now, 27 feet of water, uh, there's nothing down there. Nobody's hanging out down there, so. Back to this side. is there nothing major a little bit of this a little bit of that and that's about it not a lot of fish man it is kind of want to see what's on this edge that's my last hope otherwise I won't be fishing this area there's just uh, the wind there's a fish there just doesn't drive me crazy with what I'm seeing as far as having an area to fish especially the drift got a boat wake hang on It is, yeah, just not seeing a lot. Not a lot of love. Not a lot of love. A few fish there, you can see that it's, it's shaped funny because of the boat weight. Coming back up the ledge here, you can see the depths getting shallower and shallower. Fish there on top of each other, a few of them in there. Man, it's just not a lot of life. Just not a lot of life for whatever reason. And that's the way some of these places can be. You can catch fish. They can be on fire one day, one minute. And then uh, you come in here and you look and you fish it and man, there's nothing. And that's what I'm seeing on this flat. It's just empty. No kind of life up here. Are the fish gone? Are they laid up in the mud? Uh, are they just pulled all the way up on the bank? It's really hard to tell, but... Uh, hopefully that gives you some good info and uh, something you can take away and I'll try to do some more of these for you. Well folks if you made it this far thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.